This is Kathy Ann Lewis. Once again, it's time for a faith lift. And this is to have a little more faith in yourself. I, I know, I just talked about having faith in God more than in yourself. <laughs> but I mean faith in your own internal goodness. Faith that you will know the right thing to do at the right time. Faith in what you set out to do. Faith in your visions your purpose, your desires, your North Star. And I will give you a little bit of a, an insight where I got this. A long time ago, I heard from another minister that the Spirit of God that called me into ministry will fulfill itself through my ministry. I was called so that God could minister, meaning inspire and empower and heal and teach others through me. So when you're really called to do something, whether it's be a parent or uh, have a significant other or create a family or go back to school or be a doctor or a teacher or uh, make the planet a better place, if you're really called to serve Mother Earth, if you're really called to be a friend in that calling is the power to fulfill that calling. See, sometimes I think we have a desire for something, but we go, well, it's just me. Well, it's just me. But if it's really a heartfelt calling, if it's something that burns in you, that burning is spirit wanting to express itself in a unique way through you in a way that only you can do it. See, there's lots of teachers, but you would be the only one, the only one that would teach that way. There's lots of ministers, but you know what? <laughs> there's only one Kathy Ann Lois, thank God. <laughs> we have to understand that that push to follow a direction is perhaps the universe pushing us to the edge of our known experience so it can live through us in a new and unique way. I heard a minister say a long time ago, we are the edge of creation because we can co-create with the universal mind. We can imagine things that has never been before and walk in with our imagination to create something that's never been before whether it's the way we teach, the way, the way that we parent, what we do with our yards, uh, how we create community, um, how we serve our neighbors. Well, I could go on and on and on and on. So, listen to your heart. <sighs> what are you called to do? What's a deep yearning for expression? Not necessarily for having, but for expression. Because we will be more satisfied and fulfilled with what we express than what we acquire. Hope that, hope that makes sense. <laughs> it does to me. Oh, give it a try. You'll, it only works if, if it works for you. Many, many blessings, my dears. Bye for now.